Alrighty guys, boat build part four. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, actually the first thing we're gonna do today is uh, clean the inside of my truck because yeah, it's it's nasty. Let's uh, cut to it. All clean now. Even got my handle all clean. This was absolutely disgusting before. Dash is all clean. This, is, this was also nasty. And uh, back seats and I just power washed the floor mats so I'm gonna put those back in too but now what y'all came here for and all y'all like to see my truck too but this is your favorite thing right here it's the boat maybe once we finish up we'll wash and wax this thing too water pump is uh, going back on That's torqued. Oh yeah, definitely. Now the pulleys are back on. Yay. And uh, then we gotta run out and get some spark plugs, do the oil change, and then it should be good to go. And run again, finally. going to get new spark plugs for the boat and that's the last piece of the puzzle for the engine um, out drive stuff I ordered an impeller repair kit and that should, be, that should be coming in next week sometime and then oh also we need a transom mounting plate which I have not ordered yet so the boat really can't go in until that's in and that's like $70, I think. But yeah, I need to order that. And then after that's ordered and it gets here, engine can be put back in, out drive can be put back on, and then it's ready to go. And hopefully it'll run. We also do need to test if, uh, once we get these spark plugs probably, because we've got the whole engine back together pretty much. And uh, we just need to do an oil change on it. And then we're gonna try to start it outside of the, try to start it outside of the boat. Just, you know, make sure everything's tight and good, nothing's leaking, because it's kind of hard to see that when it's on the boat, but let's get them new spark plugs, and then we're gonna put them in. All right, guys, we made it to Advanced Auto, and whoo, look at that truck, dang, son. We are gonna get some uh, spark plugs. Look at this thing, this thing is like, kind of a little bit rusty, but it looks pretty nice, dang. All right, y'all, so we got four new spark plugs. For the boat. Listen to this thing start. That's so quiet. I dig it. It's pretty sweet. Okay, we got the spark plugs and time to put them in. Little Trey got something to say. Freak the police. Alright guys, so since we got the spark plugs in, um, we did say that we were going to run it like this on the stand, but we actually cannot do that because on the wiring harness, that's where the coil is connected, so we're just going to put it back in the boat and then start it up in there because we also got the impeller now, 
And then we got the transom mounting plate, which is somewhere. It's somewhere. But yeah, that came in too. Yay! Boat time. Here is the transom mounting plate. All right, so we're about to put the engine back in El Bote. Got to hook it up over here because normally it's sitting right here and, you know, there's no way to really put in the engine from back over there. So we're going to put it in from here, just like we took it out. All right, we're putting the impeller stuff back on because this is our repair kit for it. There's a new impeller. Yeah. All right, impeller is going on. Hold on. Take it off. Some so update for you guys. We got the boat engine off the stand. We are trying to put the impeller in and uh, we're gonna go to Walmart because we need some grease for that. And then we need a we need a battery. Battery for El Bote is what we need. Wait, hold on, let's see what kind of battery it is. Amp. Yeah. It's a 24M XHD. Right, so we just got back from uh, Walmart. Of course, you know, we had to stop at Chick fil A. This is the back of his messy car. We got a battery for the boat, which is here. And it flips on the way I we got some uh, ear looms for the trans or for the stern drive. And some power steering fluid. And some other goodies. So now that we got some silicone spray also from Walmart, we can finally put this in portal properly. Where's the other gasket? Oh. There. Can push down on this. Impeller is in with the hydrogen. The engine over there. Put her in! Yeah, we're about to put her in the boat. And uh, let's cut to that time lapse of putting it in, because it's going to take probably a little bit. So. And we got the engine back in. Just tightened up the bolts on the back. But yeah, that was surprisingly easy to get this in. We're gonna have to pull it out for some reason. Probably. But hey, not that hard to pull out either. All right, we are back to putting the engine back in. We've already got it in. All the mounting bolts are in. And we'll just put on wires now. And then we got to put on the stern drive, and then it should run. Hopefully. And we got a new battery. Sweet. Well, tried to start the motor, and we just bench tested the starter. And it pushed out, but it didn't spin fast enough, so we're going to need a new starter. So that is all for boat build part four. Um, we did order a new starter. It is Tuesday now. It will be here on Thursday. And... The new floor came in for the boat, so we're probably going to work on that today. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this content, and please stay tuned for part 5.